Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss another ODE question from reduction to homogeneous type. In our previous video we have already discussed how to solve the ODE questions. If you haven't watched those videos, I have given the link in the description so you can always watch that. Also, if you are new to this expert tutorial channel, please consider subscribing. Okay, without wasting our time, let's move to the question. Over here you can see that there's a equation dy by dx which is equals to 2x minus 3y plus 1 divided by 2x plus 2y plus 6. So the first thing is when you are having any ODE equations first of all you need to check from the basic types of basic methods. The first simple method is separable method. When you are having an ODE equation you need to figure it out or you need to solve that using separable method. That's very easy so you need to check with that. So over here, which means that the separable method means we are going to separate these two variables x and y into two sides, two opposite sides, which means if you separate that x into left side and y into right side, after that you are going to integrate that. That's the known as separable method. However, it's be, it would be difficult you to use that method in this question. So we are going to move to the second method, which is homogeneous method. So when we are using the homogeneous type questions, we have checked that we are going to substitute the value which is x is equal to lambda x and y is equal to lambda x and we are going to check if we substitute that we are going to whether we are getting the same function of x y again. So here actually if you don't have this 1 and 6, let's assume you don't have this 1 and 6. If you try that method which means we are going to substitute that lambda x to this part and lambda y to this part. Likewise, we are going to put lambda x to this and lambda y to this. And if we use that, we are going to get the same result after substituting these lambda values. So after that, the lambda would be cut. After that, we are going to get 2x minus 3y divided by 2x plus 2y. So it's like, uh, oh, it's similar, very much similar to homogeneous type equations. However, there is a constraint which there are two constants in these two parts. So the thing is we can't use that homogeneous type method directly. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a substitution. After that we are going to use the homogeneous type method. So that's total method, that's all method is known as reduction to homogeneous type. So it's similar to homogeneous method but first of all we are going to use a simple substitution after that we are going to have that homogeneous type equation and after that we are going to solve that previous methods okay let's start with that what's the substitution is we are going to have x is equals to let's say that is capital x plus h and y is equals to capital y plus k so don't think too much that simple ax would be equals to the another ax that's we are going to take it as another variable plus a constant likewise we can also write to this y part like y plus another constant k so these are the two substitutions so you are going to substitute and we are going to solve these two question to a homogeneous type question so after that we are going to differentiate let's differentiate this part and these two parts so let's differentiate this y part with respect to x. If we uh, differentiate that, we are going to get dy by dx because when we are substituting this x plus h to this part and y is equals to y plus k, we can directly substitute for this value. So what we are going to do for this part? So that's why we are going to figure the value for dy by dx with respect to x and y. What would be that? So if you divide that, we are going to get dy by dx. Sorry, if you differentiate that, you are going to get dy by dx which is equals to dy by dx as y is another variable and k is a constant so it's going to be zero so not i'm not going to write that likewise if you differentiate this part with respect to x if you differentiate this x relative to x it's going to be one and if you differentiate this x part capital x part with respect to x, simply x you are going to get dx over dx if you divide these two you are going to get dy by dx would be equals to d capital y over dx but the main part is you don't need to actually show these steps in your exams you can directly use this part over here so when you are substituting these values 
for a similar example if you substitute x plus h for this part likewise you can substitute all the values over here but you can directly substitute this dy over dx directly without writing these steps okay let's move to the next part we are going to substitute the value for the left right side part so now I have figured it out that value it's going to be dy by dx and if I substitute for these parts the x is already we have found it's going to be x plus h minus 3 into y plus k plus 1 divided by 2 into x plus h my sorry plus 2 y plus k plus 6 so that our main goal is we are going to change these to a homogeneous type equations how we can solve that is we are going to take this x and y part again individually and after that we are going to take constant in the next side if I take the x part it's going to be 2x and if I take this y part it's going to be minus 3y like these parts after that we are going to take these constant 2h is a constant as I have already mentioned over here h and k are constant we are taking so if I separate that constant in the right side it's going to be plus 2h minus 3k plus 1 so we are going to take that x y part separately and we are going to separate that constant part in next time likewise we are going to do for this part too it's going to be 2x plus 2y plus 2h plus 2k plus 6 so to solve this or to change this part to homogeneous type we need to bring this part to zero if we make this constant to zero we can directly show that it's going to be a homogeneous type equation so what we can do is we are going to take two simultaneous equation and solve that and and we are going to equate that to zero and we are going to find the value for h and k that values are going to change this part to a homogeneous type so that's very simple i think you can easily get this idea 2h minus 3k plus 1 is equals to zero likewise 2h plus 2k plus 6 is going to be zero so let's substitute those values and we are going to solve that you can easily figure it out i can deduct this part from this part if i deduct these two equations i'm going to get 2k minus minus 3k it's going to be 5k and it's equal to 5k plus 5 is equal to 0 which means k is equal to minus 1 likewise if you substitute over here you are going to get minus 2 and it's going to be 4 and minus 4 is going to be minus 2 so to double check that i'm going to substitute over here and i'm going to check minus 2 is going to be minus 4 and it's going to be plus 3 and plus 4 yes that's correct so k is equal to minus 1 and h is equal to minus 2 which means if you have these two values over if you take this h and k values like minus sorry minus 2 and minus 1 you are going to change these part this equation to a homogeneous type question because it's going to be 0 we are taken as 0 so then I think uh, after that you can easily figure it out because we have already done questions in homogeneous type so dy by dx which is equal to 2x minus 3y divided by 2x plus 2y so actually you don't need to check that whether it's a homogeneous equation if you like you can check that you need to substitute y is equal to lambda y and x is equal to lambda y and show that it's a homogeneous equation first actually you can directly figure it out that after that we are going to do this methods we are going to uh, we have already done for homogeneous type questions so we are going to substitute the value y is equal to lambda x and we are going to differentiate that sorry it's sorry y is equal to vx v is a function so y is equal to vx we are going to differentiate that we are going to get dy by dx is equal to v into 1 and x into dv by dx after that we are going to uh, use this part which is equal to 2x minus if I substitute this vx over here I'm going to get 3vx divided by 2x plus 2vx which would be equals to 2 minus 3v over 2 plus 2v so now we can I think we can directly go for this part 
we are going to get 2 minus 3b over 2 plus 2v which is equals to if we substitute uh, if you directly equate these two equation you are going to get is it will be equals to v plus x dv over dx so now we need to solve this part first after that we are going to get the answers directly but we are we need to change this x to simple x and y is to simple y because they have given the answer in those two terms so first of all we are going to solve this what method we can use for this part so actually you can easily figure it out you can directly use the separable method over here the actual thing is we have learned these three methods individually but in this question we are going to have that three methods in one question so it would be very easy or very useful for you guys okay if i bring this v into the left side we are going to get 3 minus 3v three minus 2 plus 2v two into v divided by 2 plus 2v which is equal to x into dv by dx after that we are going to solve this part if we simplify this we are going to get 3 if I do these parts it's going to be minus 2v minus 5v and it's going to be returning minus 2v squared and divided by 2 plus 2v so it's going to be x dv over dx for using separable method we are going to bring that dv into this side sorry these parts into right side b parts into right side and x part into left side so we need to move that first so if i bring that i'm going to get 1 over x into dx if i bring these two parts in the left side and v part into right side we are going to get 2 plus 2v divided by 3 minus 5v minus 2v squared into dv so after that we are going to integrate in the both sides if we integrate that we are going to get the answer so the thing is we are going to get another equation and we are going to get the answer for the x relative to v so the thing is we you need to solve something you need to solve that if you solve that you are going to get ln mod of x likewise in this side you need to use the partial uh, fraction method to solve this it would be very easy for you so you can try it in your own so after that if you solve that you are going to get another type of equation over here but you need to figure it out the answer in simple x and simple y so you need to change that to x plus h actually we knew the value for h minus 2 and k minus 1 so you need to substitute those and you are going to get the final answer i hope you can do it in your own and please leave it in the comment section so i can also watch or see that comments and others can also see that okay if you like this video please like it and share with your friends thank you for